Hey guys, it's Lee. Hey, so today what we're gonna be talking about is jump starters. So a company reached out to me. Not sure how that's pronounced, but it's Ulix, U-L-I-X-W-H. So not sure how to pronounce it, but anyway, it's a jump starter. And this was actually real good timing because if you watch my channel at all, I'm always buying uh, garden tractors. Usually it's the ones that don't run. They've been sitting for a while. Battery's always dead. And the tires are usually flat or at least has one flat tire. So this is this unit that I'm fixing to show you is um, it's a boost. So it's going to start your mowers and uh, air up the tires. Now, I've had these in the past and I'm going to show you what I had and I'm going to show you why I stopped using it um so let's look at it all right so this is what i got you know so like i say this company ulix is what i'll call it uh sent me an email asking me if i do a video on it so hey man we're gonna be truthful i haven't even opened this box yet um and we're gonna take a look at it but it's a, a jump starter and an air compressor so that's exactly what i want jump starter let's see air compressor power bank oh yeah you can plug up uh, your cell phones with it and charge those or anything that use that USB. But I've had experience. So this is the alternative. Now look, this thing right here works good. It was a Schumach, Schumacher. Um, I've had it actually for years. The problem with this that I never liked, and I'll show you what I did different, is so it has, you know, it's, it's got the jump starter. It's got the air compressor, but now I ended up cutting the hose by mistake. But the problem with it is this thing weighs as much as a car battery. I mean, that thing's heavy to pick up. And when you're doing mowers, you know, these cables are not long. So that's, that's all you got. So this thing's heavy enough to where you can't stand there and hold it and turn the key and all that at the same time. So you end up teeter-tottering this you know, 40 pound weight um, on the engine, on the steering wheel. Now, like I say, I, I deal with mowers. So it's a great unit, don't get me wrong, uh, but it's heavy, bundlesome, and I really stopped using it. I did change over to this. Now this worked pretty good, but, and this is, both of them are called jump starters, okay? That, that's a boost plus, but it's a jump starter. No, it didn't have an air compressor on it. So like I say, I have not even opened it up yet. I don't know what's in there. Let's get rid of this box. Let's see what we got here. Man, hang on, let me get my knife. Right. Tape still on it. All right. We got a nice little carrying case. Set this off to the side for now. We'll look what all it says on here. Just assess some stuff. We'll look at that in a minute. Let's see. All right, so this is obviously your air hose. Your little jumper cables. You can see all that. I guess this is your main head unit right here. Pretty nice looking. It's, um, you know, it's kind of a metal. Well, that's, maybe it's a hard plastic. Yeah, it's hard plastic, which all of them are. This is, I guess, the compressor. And you got some stuff in here. I guess we'll get them instructions out if we need to. So you got your USB, you know, to charge it with right there. So that's nice to have. These are accessories for the air compressor to, you know, basketball and inner tubes and uh, like lake inner tubes and all that. So if you have a boat, this would probably, this would be perfect to take out on a boat. Let's see what we got here. 
So it's got the USB, so if you want to charge your cell phone, I'm assuming right there, that's where this charging part would go into, looks like. And then plug it in, you know, the wall. Let's see. So it's, you got these grooves that match out those grooves right there. So let's just see what happens. I hadn't charged this, so I'll probably turn the camera off and charge it, I guess, before I really try to use it. Okay, so I got a light on here. And I got numbers here. Now, I did look at it enough to realize that when you air up your tire, and we'll do that in this video, I'm going to air up a mower tire. Like, I think most of those take 20 PSI. Let's see, plus, so I think, I don't know if you can see that. So you can set it, if I understand it right, to, um, to the right PSI. Smash that like button, smash that like button, smash that like button. I guess that slides off there. All right, so under here, there's a little rubber tab protecting this is where it looks like your jump starter goes into. I'm trying to look in the camera. Yeah, so it is protected by, you know, that's got a flat spot on it and that's rounded. So you cannot plug it in backwards. So I plugged it in. Okay, there it goes. I got some red and green here. I would speculate once you get it on a battery, it's going to turn green. So Classic tractor fever as my uh, unit charges. I read the instructions. Really, the only thing you need to know out of the instructions that we didn't already address is when that air compressor is running, I believe it's at 15 minutes, it will shut off so it don't overheat. And, um, of course, now it shuts off once once it reaches its PSI, too, which is good. Screw that on there. Probably going to show me zero PSI because that's foul core out. And I'm going to set this. Getting on up there, it's only been a few minutes. So that right there is good and tight. I think I'm done. I mean, I only know if it took two or three minutes. I mean, four minutes tops. So that was, um, so I was real happy with that. So when the rain stops, we're gonna go out here and start this craftsman. Dead battery's been sitting there for a while. But it's raining, so we'll come While we're back. waiting for the rain to stop, let's, I've been looking at the box here. You know, you can read all that. Made in China. Focus, what does it say? This is what we got right there. Look at the front of the box if you want to do that again. And while we're waiting on rain, let's go ahead and take this off. Now, I don't think there's any trick here. I think you just push it with your thumb, get it off there. Um, let's see. And put this back in its case. Here's the holes. We'll do that in a minute. So now we're just going to open this other end back up. You can't do it wrong, it won't let you. And it goes in like that if you want to go all the way down with it. All right, there you go. I got the battery cables in there. Obviously it's red and green, but they're not hooked up. So I think once you hook it to the battery properly, it'd be just green. It's not gonna do it. 
All right, it's still raining a little bit, but we're gonna go ahead and do it. I know you can't see it, but the light has turned green because I got proper connection. The good thing is I can just sit anywhere. See what happens. Might not start because of the mower, but at least it needs to turn over properly. So the light's red. I guess I should have gave it a full charge. All right, I'm gonna be truthful about this review. That snapped apart. It didn't break, but it came apart. Um. So I'm going to try to fix it and continue. Okay, so it snapped back into place. That's something we need to keep an eye on. All right, let's go back. All right, so it's a few days later. I got busy doing stuff. I got a full charge. Let's go out there and see if we can start this mower. Like I say, this mower, I hadn't really worked on it a whole lot. We're not looking for the mower to necessarily start, but turn over strong, because that's what the battery booster is going to do. It's... Um, I think it's got some carburetor issues. But it's the only one I got with a dead battery. So we want a good, strong turnover. Something else in reading on the instructions is at a timeout. That's why it was turning red before. I think after so many, maybe 30 seconds, which I don't know if I like that. But it timed out to where you have to reset it. So when it's working, it's working good, it seems like. So let's see. So it's flashing red and green, but as soon as I hook them up, it turns green. All right, it's green. So we're looking just for a good, strong turnover. Hopefully it'll start. All right, well, there, there you have it. I mean, I'm happy with it. It's, um, so the question is, would I endorse it? Because I have, I have that and I also have the big box and I bought one just like this for my daughter. Uh, well, well, it was a little different, um, but it's about as heavy. She got the lighter one. But anyway, um, what I really like about it is the air compressor. You saw it, it worked good. It's, um, it did start the battery. Now the quality, you know, remember just a little while ago, that came unhooked. Yeah, you know, it's just a little clip, just plastic clipped in there, but this is a little bit better quality. And I'm talking about the NOCO. You know, it's um, it's probably a little bit better on that. But I'll carry this around with me. Uh, got the air compressor, got a nice carrying case. I don't have one for that. It's light, you know, uh, because that, where would I have set that? I mean, it would have been sitting on the engine or I just would have to strap it down so I could start the mower, you know. So overall, I like it. I'll put a link in the um, description, Amazon. Um, good, it's a good unit. All right, I'm out.